right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Chaos Nation, and in today's episode, we're going over the brand new tier 10 units that just recently came out into the game, uh, all in preparation of the Jap uh, JP's version of, well, the game's anniversary. So, we're just going to jump right into it, just because of the fact that there is quite a lot that needs to be said, especially we're going over five new medals. I'll be going over the new VIP medal uh, in a different video, but without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started because I have <laughs> I have some thoughts about this. So first of all, these are what the medals clearly look like, obviously, uh, in terms of their aesthetics. Okay, so going down the list, we'll just kind of read the abilities as we go. So for Ira, oh, I, I guess for Ira, he is an AOE. They're all tier 10, by the way. Okay. Uh, he is a AOE metal. And for one turn, he increases your upright metal strength by 1500. Uh, and for just himself, he buffs his general strength, upright, and power strength by eight tiers. It only lasts for just himself. Um, as well as he lowers the targets general defense upright defense and power defense by eight tier. okay that will affect the, the enemy regardless it's only the buffs that affect just the euro metal uh he increases your guilt buff by 200 percent increases the count plus one and has a 10 10 chance to ignore the target's defense boost that's only good for pvp and he it restores four gate okay he also only cost one gauge as well which is pretty nice he has a 69.3 damage multiplier which is pretty good and his supernova is an aoe supernova for one turn for just himself he increases his general strength and psm strength by seven tiers he lowers the targets general defense and psm defense by seven tiers and increases the guilt by 280 percent right and has a 220 damage multiplier now in terms of era the best way to kind of that I like to think about Ira right now is the fact that he's I would almost kind of word him as being the uh, the power version replacement of the most recent uh, ultimate form Sora medal that we just got recently. Okay, now in my opinion, he's not nearly as good as ultimate form Sora. Just because of the fact that Ultimate Form Sword doesn't have the whole affecting just him restriction on him. On top of the fact that Ultimate Form Sword is also super effective against all types. In my opinion, Ultimate Form Sword is better, but you're not always going to be able to use a speed slot on your keyblade. So having variety doesn't hurt if you're able to afford it okay so it's just worth noting that era is basically in my book even though it's not quite exactly your replacement he's almost like a power version of ultimate forms okay almost like a slightly worse but basically a power version next up is a sed uh a sed's on the right hand side right above me okay right there for a sed he is a single target metal costs three gauges has a multiplier of a 55.31 to a 72.69 and for one turn he increases power metal strength by 1500 and raises the guilt buff by 200 percent it does more damage the higher your hp which for the most part is almost always going to be full so the fact that you're going to be hitting that 72.69 multiplier quite consistently that's really good that's definitely on the, the higher end of the most players in the game as of right now. His Supernova uh, is AoE, increases guilt by 280%, and increases count plus 2. That's it. Has a 220 damage multiplier. In terms of raw strength, a set, a set is typically associated with just raw strength, so it's not that big of a surprise. Um, the best way to think about all said is that he's a hard-hitting single target version of Terra, of the Terra metal that we had recently. Uh, to be honest though, Terra is better than a set just because of the fact that Terra is AoE, whereas a set is only single target. So yeah, <laughs> that's just the best way to put it. However, that does not denote the fact 
that uh, a set can still benefit the rest of your setup with that power strength bu uh, buff if needed. So even though a set only hits one enemy, he's still buffing your entire Keyblade's uh, setup for power metals by 1500 strength. So that's worth noting. He'll still affect the rest of your setup even though he'll only hit one enemy. So just throwing that out there. Next up, we have Gula, all right, which is honestly amongst the best in my opinion uh, out of the five. Gula is an AoE metal, costs two gauges, has a 48.11 to a 69.69 multiplier. He deals three hits for one turn, increases speed metal strength by 1500, all right, and lowers the target's general defense, upright defense, and speed def defense by 10 tiers. Uh, I lost my prison. Increases guilt buff by 200% and does more damage the higher the multiplier. Okay, so the damage is pretty good. The debuffs is honestly pretty good as well. Uh, the speed middle strength is pretty good as well. Basically, the best way to think about it is Gula is just another version of... What's his name? Uh, Ventus. Of the, the Ventus metal we also got recently. Okay. Um, his supernova AoE for one turn increases speed metal strength by 4,500, and for just himself, increases upright and speed strength by 10 tiers, increases guilt buff by 280%, does not affect counters, and restores three gauges. Has a 220 damage multiplier as well for the supernova. So altogether, there are some up and downs between both Ventus and Gula. Okay. The main benefit about Gula is the fact is his supernova, basically, is the fact that it, it provides that 4,500 strength buff, okay, uh, for all speed medals on your setup. So that's the main benefit about Gula. Whereas the main benefit for Ventus was the fact that he does some buffs and debuffs and whatnot. For uh, well, he just has buffs and debuffs. Okay, they're they're honestly very similar, um, although just because of the supernova. I would kind of probably rank Gula as slightly better. So right now, speed is looking to be one of the best attributes in the game as of right now because of all, because a, a lot of the strength buffing metals just simply being in speed, such as Ultimate Form Sora. That's a speed metal. And it's also one of the best uh, buffer metals we currently have in the game. Okay, we got him. We also have Ventus if you're able to pull from. And now we got Gula. So if you have all three of those, metals such as our Keyblades such as Sleep and Lying are just going to be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> You'll have a really stacked Keyblade right there. So that's just something worth noting. Uh, next up, we have Envy. All right, he's an AO she's an AoE metal. That does not cause any gauges. Has a 57.29 to a 63.59 multiplier. Okay, it's fairly decent, kind of around average as of right now. Uh, deals four hits for one turn, increases ma uh, magic metal strength by 1500. Uh, for just herself, increases strength, upright, and PSM strength by 12 tiers. That's actually a lot. Uh, and lowers the target's general defense, upright, and PSM defense by 12 tiers. Increases guilt by 200%. Does not affect counters, does more damage when one enemy or zero parts left, uh, and increases or restores three gauges. The Supernova's AoE, all right, uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, for one turn, increases guilt buff by 280%, does not affect counters, uh, heals you, which is unusual for a Supernova, and restores 10 gauges. Has a damage multiplier of a 220. So, altogether, the best way to think about Envy is that she's basically just a alternative to the VIP Aqua Metal that we had not so long ago as well, okay? You'll probably notice that a lot of these four tile metals are kind of alternatives to the BBS Trio Metals that we had recently. Uh, next up, we have Ava, who is an AoE Metal. Cost two gauges has a 48.08 to a 70.09 multiplier. Oh, I realized my head's blocking it. Ah, there we go. All right, and for one turn, increases metal strength, all metal strength, by 1,000. 
and just herself increases general strength, upright, and magic strength by 10 tiers, lowers the target's upright defense by 10 tiers, increases guilt buff by 200%, does more damage with higher HP, and it makes the next metal after her and turns it into an AoE metal. That's worth noting, because there's only one other metal in the entire game that does this effect, which is Nominate EX. Plus? I don't remember if it's a plus metal or not. Nominate EX Plus, we'll just say that. Uh, that's the only other metal in the game that does that, so this makes Ava the second, Supernova plus Ava, the second metal in the game to do this as well. Um, and Supernova plus Ava is already obviously way better than Nominate EX Plus, just because of the fact that Supernova plus Ava actually does damage, is not fixed damage like Nominate EX Plus was. Already way better. Uh, there's obviously going to be a lot of really cool you could, utility that you can definitely make use of this as well. Um, if you're doing like a pure magic keyblade, for instance, maybe you can even start using, uh, if you really wanted to, you can even start using Monster Sora for PvE content now. Just because of the fact you can use Ava, slap on Monster Sora, boom, Monster Sora is uh, AoE now because of Ava. You can do cool stuff like that now, so. Definitely a very good utility metal in my opinion. Uh, let's see, the Supernova AoE for one turn lowers the target's general defense, upright defense, and magic defense by 10 tiers, increases guilt by 280%, resets counters, and restores three gauges. So, it has a 220 damage multiplier. So, whether or not you guys should pull first, or I guess I should go over the banners real quick. So these are all the banners. So we have... <laughs> We have six different banners. The first one, the first one's for free, uh, for free to play players, okay? Being that it's a five mercy pull banner, the four tellers deal. One at the very top. It's a five mercy pull banner. However, the catch is that whenever you mercy it, you only get one of the five four tellers randomly. You don't actually get to pick it, which is the main draw side. However, it's worth noting that they mentioned it in the little, like, uh, fine print text that if you happen to pull a foreteller before your fifth pull, that will not reset, or shouldn't, reset the counter for the five mercy pull for the randomized one. Okay, so that's just worth noting. For the others, it will reset it, but for the free-to-play banner, it will not reset it. So just, just throwing that out there. Next up, okay, and these are all obviously the same. Uh, for the other five, they're dedicated to a specific foreteller, but they increase the mercy limit. So these are all 10 mercy pulls instead, but when you do mercy it, you are guaranteed that copy of the foreteller. It's also worth noting as well, obviously, that for the VIP banners, uh, you get more Kingdom Hearts 3 medals as well, so you get more VIP coins as well. That's new. Uh, as well as obviously you get the, uh, what's it called? You get the trade medal for that particular fort, uh, fort teller as well. So. Those are the main differences between all the banners. In terms of whether or not I think you should actually pull from these banners or not though, here's my main spiel about it. I absolutely hate what they're doing here, okay? Because if you're not aware, or you haven't realized that I should probably say instead. The fact that they increased the mercy limit. That's what really ticks me off about these uh, these four teller, teller banners. Uh, because of the fact that the only way you can even access these individual four teller banners in the first place is if you already got VIP, which you have to pay for. And on top of having to pay for VIP, now you have to spend more as well just to get to the mercy for the foreteller. And that's what takes me off about this, is the fact that the VIP banner is supposed to be a better banner. Okay, it's supposed to be a better banner. That's kind of the whole incentive about purchasing VIP, is to buy VIP so you can get access to the better banners. But because of the fact that they increased the mercy limit for these foretellers, it's not a better banner for me. 
it's it's in a way it's almost no different from from just the regular free-to-play banner because the fact that i have to invest more on just one particular foreteller honestly i might just be better off just going with my chances on the foretellers deal instead just do it twice just mercy it twice if like assuming you're you're spending thirty thousand jewels i might be better off just doing the foretellers deal twice instead and just go with my luck <laughs> quite honestly um at the very least i'll get two for most likely get two different foretellers rather than just one foreteller so and that's what i'm trying to get at like the I, I don't know what they're trying to do here but it does not it does not incentivize me to want to purchase vip to get these these banners that's 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 my main gripe about these uh these banners like if they kept at the mercy pool at still five but they uh while still being dedicated to specific portals then hell yeah you would see tons of people going for vip more more often for this deal but because they increase the, the mercy limit it, it's not very incentivizing at me at all it's like the fact that like i have to pay to have to pay more it doesn't make sense to me at all whatsoever as a consumer so i don't know what the heck they're doing that's my spiel about it. anyways so in terms of whether or not you should pull to be honest i might i might argue to like you, you could I would say you could definitely afford to do a few pulls if you have tons of jewels if you have more than 15,000 jewels heck maybe even go and try your luck and uh, and mercy the foretellers deal once but it is worth noting as well that if you look at the time period that the banners were out for 14 days roughly two weeks yeah, that's only half the month meaning that we're gonna also get some other probably really cool stuff in the last half of the month as well because within the last couple years they've started celebrating anniversaries for the game for the entire month rather than just that one day or that one week instead okay so just throwing that out there even though these medals are out here right now we're still going to be getting some pretty cool medals in the last half of this month as well so just keep that in mind um so altogether, I would probably say doing a few pulls wouldn't hurt, especially because it is the foreteller, some of the most iconic characters in the game as it, in the series right now. Um, but I would also side on the word of caution uh, that something better might come along the last half of the month on top of the fact that I'm struggling to try and lo like logically reason whether or not it's actually worth even dumping into these medals in the first place because we're going to be getting more medals anyways fairly soon in the future that increase strength anyway so like why what why make why invest in these foreteller medals when they're when most of them are just replacements for the bbs medals we got in the past anyways so it's like if you already have aqua why why do you need envy if you already have terra why do you need uh or is it why do you need a set if you already have ventus why do you need gula if you already have uh where is it if you already have the uh, ultimate form sora why do you need era You're, that's what i'm getting at like we already have medals in the game that are kind of just as good more or less as the foretellers there's only two medals in these foretellers that are actually possibly worth obtaining and that would be ava because of the fact that she has to turn the next medal into a group attack mechanic attached to her that's a main aspect and the second one being gula because of a supernova buffing all speed uh strength medals and your setup for one turn by 4500 those are the only two medals that i would maybe side with possibly obtaining but aside from that if you have if you've been keeping up with some of the other medals you don't really need to get them as much so that's just my spiel on it i'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about it in the comment section down below Especially what you think might be coming up in the future as well. But other than that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Chaos Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, guys.